Hello everyone and welcome back to another Vector Twist tutorial. Today I would like to show you a quick tip on how to create windows for your isometric buildings, especially when you're working on skyscrapers. So here in Adobe Illustrator, I already have one of my buildings on the artboard. I simply created a square and then used the 3D tools in Illustrator to apply an isometric projection. Now we could go about it and just simply start creating our rectangles and then duplicating them. And then if we are working with the 3D tools, we can open up the appearance panel and double click our effect and then add things as map art once you've created a symbol out of it. But that's quite tedious. Now here is a quick tip on how to create out of one single shape all of your windows. So let me show you. First I'm going to pick a dark color and then I'm simply going to create a rectangle on the artboard. Probably of the height or approximately the height of your building. Once that's done, all you have to do is go to Object, Path and then select Split into Grid. Now in the pop-up you can set the rows and the columns. So I'm going to set, let's say, 10 rows and of course 10 columns. Make sure you select Preview and you can see what's happening on your rectangles. You're basically splitting it into a grid, which will then become your windows. Right now we have zero pixels for the gutter, in our case maybe only three pixels, and then we can press OK. Now one thing I would like to mention here, it splits it into a grid and you will have single shapes. So make sure you select all of them and then simply group them. If you want to have extra treatments to it, here's another tip I would like to show you. So let's zoom in. Here I have my windows created with the split into grid. I'm going to select object, path, and then offset path. Now the offset path number has to be negative and depending on your size, you have to play around with the number. I think for mine, minus three pixels is okay. And then I press okay. Now, since I already know this is going to be a little bit lighter, I'm going to switch the color into something lighter. And then when I zoom in, I'm going to align it with the top right. You get the idea that I've now created the illusion of my windows. Basically, I have a window sim and then I have the window itself, which is much lighter than the rest. Now, once that's done, all you have to do is select all of the shapes, open up the symbols panel and then press the plus sign to add a new symbol. So call it whatever you like and keep it as a dynamic symbol. That means later on, when you have it on your artboard in your design and you want to change something, it will update it everywhere you use the symbol. And in the last step, I would like to show you how to apply it to your isometric skyscraper. So here's my simple shape. So all I have to do is outline it and then change my colors. Now before we expand it, just create a copy to the side. And I've already created a building, so let me show you. So here's the building where I'm going to apply my window treatment. Since we created a copy of our skyscraper before we expanded it, I'm going to open up the appearance panel and double click the 3D extrude and bevel. And in there, I'm going to set my map art. So when I go to map art, just make sure that you go through the surfaces so the top doesn't need one, the bottom doesn't. We want to apply it to the right side and the left side. Then select your symbol, we just have one right now. And then I'm going to rotate it into place and then shrink it down a little bit. Now before we press OK, all we want to do is check invisible geometry. What that gives me is just the map art. And then I'll press OK. Once we left map art, we have to press OK one more time. And this is still a life effect, a 3D extrude effect with our symbol added to it. And then I can just place it on top of my isometric tower. Now, of course, we would like to have the windows on the other side as well. In this case, what we have to do is we have to create a copy of our symbol. So I'm going to create a copy and then I'm going to right click and select break a link to symbol because we don't want the other side to be updated. And then all we have to do is reflect it. And then we're going to add it as a symbol again. So back to the symbols panel, press the plus, press OK. And then we're going back to our 3D effect with the first window set, open it up again via the appearance panel, check map art, and then here for the right side, we're going to add our new symbol. We also want to rotate it and then shrink it down a little bit to match the other side and then press OK. And then that's it. Now this is a really fast and easy way to create windows for your isometric buildings. And if you work with dynamic symbols, you can create tons of variation out of it and keep them in your symbols panel and even update them on your live objects. Now here are a few more examples what I've created and really, the sky is the limit. 